everyone. So I finally made it to the airport. Um, it is a crazy line. I've actually never seen it this bad before. There's the normal check-in area that snakes around like crazy, and then we're actually in a separate check-in area just down from here. Hopefully I make it. I'm here three hours ahead of time. My flight's at 12.50, so I still got a couple hours to go. And check this out. I just made it past security. I'm walking to my gate, but I saw this amazing aquarium right here. And it's in front of this massive totem pole right here, which is crazy. Yeah. Finally made it. Um, I am on the bus to the Shenzhen border because my friend had a big party yesterday and couldn't make it to pick me up at the airport, so I'm gonna meet her halfway. She bought me a one way ticket to there. I had to find the bus depot, we made it in like three minutes. It was crazy. They put this funky sticker on me because I'm a foreigner and they didn't want me to miss the bus. And some ladies tried to scam you and take a, a limo uh, or a private car or like 150 Canadian um, all the way to the border. So this was 150 RMB, which is like uh, 20 bucks or something like that. Um, yeah, and it's direct. So it's gonna be about 35 minutes car ride. I think we're crossing the border into China right now. This is the going to be Shenzhen big city across from us. So for those that don't know, I believe Shenzhen is basically like the tech hub of China. It's where like Tencent, uh, Alipay, like Alibaba, I don't know who owns Alibaba um, or what their conglomerate group is called, but yeah, there's basically a tech hub of China. Software companies, innovations, AI, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, together so pretty exciting I've never been here in my life zoom in. I don't even know what these are these little planks here if anyone can tell me that would be really interesting yeah they're just all over the sea I'm not sure if they're there to catch fish or garbage or you know, what's fascinating about this is I think they've been able to build this shit in the last 15 20 years I mean Vancouver can't even get its shit together to like do something about the Lionsgate Bridge <laughs> that's been there for like what 60 80 years um, so it's insane I mean they built like an entire you know, city just incredible you know it's a marvel so we're standing here in front of the one of the oldest restaurants in Guangzhou it's over a hundred years old and apparently we can go in and take a tour so I think we're gonna go do that. Let's go. So this is absolutely incredible. They're basically, what is this, Kylie? Uh, la chikai. La chikai. Like fresh, free-range chicken? Like con of the day, you mean? Yes. That's insane. Now that's duck. Siu ngap, Uh, siu mo. Siu mo. Ni go hai. Siu yu ju. Wow. It's has you. I mean, my goodness. This is incredible. That we were just there to see the Siu Yong. And then this is like the restaurant that stretches all around. You can see here, I don't know if you can tell, there's actually seating right there. There's room. There's rooms. Yes. I guess it's a private room maybe. Uh, yes. And then across the way here, well, I'm gonna film the seafood. Lobster here. Lobster. And just the seafood monger. And then look at this beautiful just waterway right here that stretches all like inside the compound, which is amazing. Uh, 
I am all the way in Philippines right now. Finally got through the gauntlet of doom in terms of security check. I don't know why they have another security check for uh, international transfers, but they did. <laughs> and the line was as long as, honestly, an Olympic swimming pool, but I got past it. Finally at the gate to connect my flight to Hong Kong where my friend will pick me up and we will go from Hong Kong to Guangzhou. Now, the Hong Kong is part of China, but it's a little bit different. It's an economic free zone. So I grew up in the time where it was a British colony and then kind of reverted back to Chinese ownership. So I don't really count it as China, China, if you will, uh, but I'm excited. In a couple hours, I'll be in China officially and I'll get to meet my friends, get a phone number, It'll be awesome. So stay tuned for that. I just came out of the subway and we're here. And all the way down. Pretty crazy, but we're on our way to somewhere else, so I gotta go. So we're gonna be crossing this bridge to get to some architectural island to see some amazing stuff. So we're gonna walk across, I think that way, like that way. So we'll see what happens. Oh, this is apparently not that amazing of a mall because it's an old town, it's pretty old. But here it is. Still pretty crazy compared to anything that we'd see in uh, Vancouver. Oh, this is the island with the bridge. So we just came under here. It's a bunch of little like food stands all around here. Different things, fruits. And you can see a stand over there. And we're just gonna follow along over here. Little glossary, I guess, or legend of the map. What we're gonna see, and all of this in Chinese. Of course, I don't know. People live in here. Yeah. Oh wow. Must be nice. Yeah. Wow. Where do you want to go? Wow. Look at this. Just this is basically inside the entire complex, if you will. And this is the. I guess famous Starbucks right in the distance right there. That's yeah, supposed to be really nice and it has like Tiffany paint in there or something. And there is one of the first five star hotels in Guangzhou. I can't remember which one it is, but we'll go to it. We'll check it out. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of residents around here, a whole bunch of little cafes and shops. It's a lot chiller. Um, it's a lot chiller. Uh, it's a lot more just quiet. I mean, this is a weekend, so I can imagine it's really busy, but on the weekdays, it might be even more chill than this. So this might be a really good place to go to, actually. Court three? Yeah, this is just three. Why is that? Uh, I don't know, feel better. <laughs> Uh, so we're here with Kylie at the first ever tennis court in Guangzhou. Yes, the first oldest ever. one. The oldest. It's built in 1905. 1905. Uh, I think that was before World War One, or maybe it was during World War One. But I'm just going to take some uh, video here, and it actually belongs to the government, so anyone can book it. According to Kylie, it gets pretty busy on the weekends, but on the weekdays it's fine. Uh, I think she gets lessons here, and it's pretty cool. So we're at this place. It's called Captain. Shameless plug. This is Kylie's friend's place, and this is number two. Location number two. Yeah. Location number two. Her friend opened location number one somewhere else. It was really successful, made a ton of money, so opened this place uh, two years ago, um, and it's, I mean, like, just right by the river under the bridge with a really nice kind of scenic view. Uh, probably on the fringes of the area that we were uh, we were just at, which is great. And yeah, really cool location, cool spot. Has coffee, that's I think the number one thing, and cold brew. They have alcoholic coffee, alcoholic kind of sodas and stuff like that. So what I just got was a lemon lychee drink okay uh, lemon lychee soda to be precise so 
I'm gonna try it out for y'all and let you know. I'll take a kind of quick sh There we go. Here we go. So I was telling Kylie, super refreshing, especially on a hot day like this. Not too sweet, which is what I like. You can hear, you can feel a little bit of hint of lychee, a little bit of lemon, obviously the soda, the carbonation. In my opinion, I've had a lot of these types of drinks and sometimes there's really syrupy, like really sugary or way too much lemon. So it's not overpowering. It's actually a really good blend of all three, which uh, is an impressive thing. It's great. And I probably lost like 10 pounds just from sweating and walk. I swear to God, I walked like 20,000 steps today, at least. Which is great. I lost like 600 calories. I'll be like skinny Jeff by the time I come back. So everyone, this is adventure number two. We met up with our friend Kylie right here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Kylie's kind enough to take us out to an old hood that she used to live in. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna grab a coffee. And this is actually an amazing building. Is this a women's hospital? Oh, uh, yes. That's incredible. Wow. Okay, that's something else. We're gonna take a little bit of footage when we get there and see what's up. What's this big building, Kylie? Kayako uh, Pet Hot Fish Track. Kayako Market. Oh. For, uh, you know, like treasure. Oh, yeah. I see. Uh, diamond, crystal. Oh, yeah. interesting. Wow. Uh, most hang up. Wow. No car. Walk only. How old is this place? Do you know, Kylie? Uh, for over 100 years. Wow. Yes. Oh, Luke and Coffee. That's the coffee brand. I was trying to compete with uh, Starbucks, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow, this this is quite something, Kylie. How how old do you think this is, Kylie? Uh, I don't. Hundred years? More. So this pagoda right here and this one, to the oldest restaurants. So this is one of the oldest restaurants in Guangzhou. You can see it since 1889. That is. Not just before World War One, if my calculations don't mistake me. And it is packed. You can see there's a ton of people waiting. There's a market downstairs as well. Actually, why don't we go check it out? The market. <laughs> You gotta just kind of force your way over, but we did it. And now we're going into the oldest restaurant, one of the oldest restaurants in Guangzhou. Maybe even older than the one that we went to yesterday. Uh, this is the first floor, or the top floor. I think there's another floor right there, the VIP section. And then they have a big, amazing restaurant, and it's over 100 years old. We are gonna go up to the third floor. Let's stay tuned for that. This is the absolute top floor. So it's first, second, third. It's the highest we're gonna go. They have like a market for uh, cereal, like roasted duck, barbecue. Do they have party rooms? Okay. Amazing. The heritage and the most people that must have gone through here, some service elevator. So, we, so we're on the ground floor right now and there's like a shop just all around the ground floor. This is all like traditional Cantonese snack. Um, there is your lap cheng. <laughs> I love lap cheng. Uh, just different snacks all over. Dan gun. Wow, this is different. Jima. No, no, green uh, onion? Chong. Oh, chong, yeah. Uh, this is an original flavor. Okay, original flavor and green onion? Yeah, all looks delicious. That looks very interesting. Someone in the comments, please tell me what that is. And then there's like a big stand over here with like baked goods and some other things like buns, baked goods. We're gonna go to a lot of adventure. We're in another place across the street. It's massive. 
I know you. So unique, right? Like 130 years of history.